Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamartguru.com. This one is Infinite Designer and it's all about creating a matching pattern around a circle. In this case, a little figure that holds hands and matches the circle perfectly. Let's start with a little figure. The head is a circle, the body is a rectangle. The arms and legs are just lines with a tapered stroke. That way, moving the nodes is really easy to adjust the position and pose later on. In order to make the matching real easy, we turn the figure into a symbol, open up the studio, go to symbols, group the elements and make it a symbol. We then place the symbol on the screen create our visual reference circle. The circle is our visual guide and defines the center of the pivot point when we rotate the figures. In order to do that, I turn on the editing of the pivot point and align it with the center of the circle. The snapping is turned on to make it a lot easier. I then select the symbol and start rotating it. Duplicate with Ctrl and J and then rotate by 36 degrees. That way we get 10 figures on our circle. You can see that there is a gap between the figures. This is when we make use of the symbol. Select all the elements in the symbol. We are now editing inside the symbol and scale everything up. You can see that not just the one symbol, but all instances of the symbol are changed along with it. This makes it really easy to match the pose of all 10 figures and align them perfectly to our circle. As you can see, we now match the 10 figures to the circle with absolute ease, thanks to using symbols. In addition, the symbols allow us to edit and add more detail with these. In this case, I am copying eyes and hands into the symbol. It's two simple uh, shapes for the eyes and two circles for the hands. Let me quickly adjust that to match, but you can see it's adjusting all my 10 figures as I'm placing this one and even if I edit a different symbol, in this case, the one to the left of the center one, it is making the same changes as it does to any of the others. With this setup in place, it's easy to add more detail, color and variation to our little figures. One of the nice features of working with symbols is the fact that I can create a symbol inside a symbol. For that, I group one of the symbols, make this group a new symbol, and start working inside this group. Now I'm going to add piggy tails, a simple pen shape that I fill black and mirror and place on the other side. And to distinguish this character even more, I'm going to give it a simple skirt. Now this symbol will replace some of the old ones. In order to do that, I remove every second symbol that is in the circle at the moment. I then adjust the pivot point of the new symbol and duplicate it once the pivot point is centered to the circle. Now seeing we need to skip one, the rotation will be 72 degrees. And then we duplicate that and it'll continue rotating by 72 degrees. There we have a circle with variation and I can now edit the new symbol and those changes will be visible on all new symbols. As you can see with the ponytail changing in the lower right. I can also make changes to the original symbol and then all symbols will be changed accordingly. So if I take, for example, the leg of one of the symbols, you can see that all 10 symbols change. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on 
using the power of symbols to make a pattern align perfectly to a circle. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel, like and leave a comment below and let me know what you like to see in one of the next tutorials. Thank you and see you soon.